Tyson Anderson, the star of the game as the Bengals fall to the Packers 36-19 in their preseason opener. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium where it was good, bad, and somewhat ugly in the Bengals' first preseason game of 2023. First of all, the good. Tyson Anderson playing his first game in over a year. He played just a little bit in the preseason in 2022 as a draft pick, a safety out of the University of Toledo, but he's fully healed from a hamstring injury. He talked about that after the game, a game in which he had a pick six of some 43 yards in the first half that really kept the Bengals in this game, closed the deficit to 14-13. He also took the ball away from a receiver on an undercut route and was able to record his second interception of Sean Clifford, the former St. X star who uh, came in and replaced Jordan Love as Green Bay quarterback. Sean Clifford, though, finished 20 of 26 for 220 yards uh, on the evening. He also had a touchdown pass. But back to Tyson Anderson, he said it felt so good to be on the field able to show his ball hawking mentality and his skills, most importantly. And he said, uh, when I asked him what he was thinking, what was going through his mind when he had 40 yards of green turf and nobody in front of him, he said, nobody's going to catch me. He, you could tell that Tyson Anderson was very relieved to be able to show off what he could do. Unfortunately for the Bengals, when they got turnovers, the only people scoring in this game were the defenders, and that would be Tyson Anderson. He was responsible for the only touchdown the Bengals would score tonight. The other positive has to be Evan McPherson. He had four field goals. He was four for four on the night, and he also hit the PAT, so he finished with 13 points, including a 52-yard field goal in the uh, second quarter, and the Bengals taking a 16-14 to lead, but then the Bengals couldn't hold uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers at bay as Sean Clifford completed a long pass of 45 yards downfield. DJ Ivy got burned on the play. It set the Packers up uh, inside the red zone, and they were able to score uh, Sean Clifford's only touchdown pass of the night on the next play. The Bengals' offensive line, very spotty. Jackson Carmen did not have a good night. He also had an embarrassing moment in the fourth quarter. He essentially got turnstiled into the ground. It was not a pretty moment for Jackson Carmen, who got lots of reps. He got put back into this game in the fourth quarter to try and get some more reps, get some more positive uh, footage on film, more positive reps, I should say, on film, and it just hasn't materialized. Certainly, uh, one would think that Jonah Williams has cemented the right tackle position uh, going into the season for the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, in terms of the other offensive line play, uh, they were able to spring, were uh, Deontay Smith and Cody Ford were able to spring Chris Evans for a 25-yard run in the first half. That was a bit of good news. How about the effort of Chase Brown, the rookie out of Illinois? He had 11 touches on the day for 45 yards he was really effective uh, on his two catches out of the backfield Zach Taylor said after this game showing what he can do in the passing game which of course if you're going to be a running back in the Cincinnati Bengals offense you have got to be able to be productive as a pass catching receiver all we have to do is look at Joe Mixon from 2022 as evidence of that he also had a 24 yard carry did uh, Chase Brown he finished with three carries and 33 yards, 45 yards, again, overall for the rookie out of Illinois. Miles Murphy, he flashed some positive ability off the edge, uh, got some push, uh, but certainly he would like to get to the quarterback and make a few plays in the two remaining preseason games before the Bengals open up against the Cleveland Browns on September 10th in Cleveland. Of course, the story of the day, though, was Joe Burrow, working out for about 20 minutes, tossing the ball around and also running some wind sprints. When asked after the game, Zach Taylor said, it's just good to see Joe Burrow stay on schedule, continue to make progress. That's all they're looking for. And the Bengals and Zach Taylor didn't change their timeline. So if you were expecting the Bengals to say, well, this moves his timeline up about two weeks and we might be able to get him on the practice field a week earlier than we thought, that was not forthcoming from the Bengals and probably a smart play to play it that way. Joe Burrow 
uh, was on the practice field. So that is news in, in and of itself. Good news for the Bengals as they hope to get number nine back, certainly in time to have a couple of weeks of preparation for the season opener against the Browns on September 10th. We'll have you completely covered on clnsmedia.com. And of course, check out my YouTube page at Jungle Roar Pod at uh, youtube.com for all of the post-game highlights from inside the Bengals locker room and also before today's game uh, with updates on Joe Burrow and the rest of the Bengals. Also follow me on Twitter at Trags, T-R-A-G-S. Final again, it was the Packers 36 and the Bengals 19. Inside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.